Aloha, hey, it's Julie. And Eric. And we are from 365 Hawaii, as you know. And uh, one of the things that we are doing is we are going out and finding information about what's happening in the real estate industry beyond Big Island. And what we did was we went to a really cool real estate technology conference in Las Vegas last week called Indian Connect. And we got a chance to listen to all the CEOs from all the top brands in the country and also uh, multi-million dollar companies that are working to change the real estate industry. And we're going to be bringing you just some information that we might have picked up a little bit um, in three segments. So before we get into that, I, I just was this was my first conference of this real estate technology conference. And I was thoroughly surprised, impressed on how uh, when you get the industry le leaders that are thinking on a big scale, how 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 cool it was and what I learned. And so we're going to only hit these three things, but I was kind of like with my eyes wide open going, wow, this is, this is great. You know what I mean? In terms of what they were talking about, how they're talking about changing a, a, a sort of a system that I wouldn't say is broken, but has definitely been working a certain way for a very long time. And they're talking about sort of revolutionizing and making it better. So mm -hmm. it was good. So let's start with those three, those things. Julie. Okay. And just so you guys know, on the other side of this, I've been going to the Mini Connect conference for like 15 years. And uh, that's why I love real estate. And that's the reason why we've created these kinds of opportunities because um, for years they've been saying video is awesome. And also um, it helped me decide to get my real estate license, which hopefully I'll have by the end of the year. And then we're going to be the 365 real estate team, which is going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. um, so one of the things that we went to the conference also was to learn more about uh, team creation. Yep. But the things that we're going to talk to you about are more uh, consumer directed. So the three things we're going to talk about is... The incoming aspect of fintech, which is financial technology, also uh, bridge loans, and also um, how they are going to be trying to streamline the entire real estate transaction process. So, um, which one would you like to let's talk start about? The, let's start at the top. Okay, uh, let's start at the top. And, and so, it, it um, ties into the, into the headlines. It just came out this week. And those headlines were that uh, Zillow has pulled out of the eye buying market. Yes. And they true. were going to, the, their thought process was that they were going to buy come in, buy your house, you just would literally walk away, no big deal, everything is great, they offer you, they were say, offering more than market value at the time, it was that, and they were gonna then turn around and with the real estate market going up, add a few repairs to this this place and sell it and, and do fine with it. Right, which is kind of like a, an in industrialized um, flipping of homes, yeah. really what they were trying to do. But then uh, other realtors who really don't like Zillow said, um, well, it's as, as good as a Zestimate. <laughs> If this estimate worked, they wouldn't have lost their shirts yeah, on this did, one, yeah, but they, they lost blue, their shirts yeah. on this one. But but the technology is still, the iBuy. And the iBuying. So iBuying, uh, if you guys don't know, is basically the opportunity to basically sell your house to a buyer like a Zillow or these other companies that we're going to talk to you about. Um, and you can walk away um, from your home and uh, then you can get on with your life and you don't have to deal with all the stuff that happens in real estate, which, you know, is, can be difficult. But on the other side... Um, some people actually want to be part of the whole selling process. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, and some people say, you know what? Take my house. I'm done. So it works. It, it, it works. It's, a, it's a niche market. It is a niche market. market. Yeah, and yeah. I, uh, they were talking about the realtors were like, well, if Zillow and these other companies come in and start selling houses, where are the realtors and all of this, right? Right. But the realtors, I think, always add a value of being able to price your home correctly, which is what happened with Zillow. They yeah. weren't pricing they those it. homes correctly. Mm -hmm. and they missed the market. And also realtors that know their uh, neighborhoods mm -hmm. also know different house styles and know the different neighborhood it's, characteristics. This goes back to it's good to have a realtor. The it end. is. And, you know and, and, and they can, but, but it is something that's coming up. That's why we're mentioning it is that right. you're, you're going to start seeing a lot more of that. Yeah. But if one of the things I'm going to tell you guys is the fact that I buying has not really come to Hawaii um, because of two things. One is the fact that our neighborhoods are not cookie cutter. They, this really works well for those large swaths of housing developments in Phoenix. Um, sure, well, you know a house is going to be worth, you know, $420,000. Yeah, so it's, 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 the test markets end up in, like, Phoenix, Portland, Seattle. So, um, so don't look for Hawaii to be jumping in on this, like, very quickly. But um, on that note, um, basically Zillow got kicked out of the market. They said, you know what? We're losing money. We're going to pull back. And so there's a company called Open Door. Um, and also um, uh, homes.com mm -hmm. 
-hmm. They have said, you know what, we're going to jump into that part of the market because we think that we can do a better job. Well, Homestat, and this is what we, the, the, the president of Homedoz.com did talk to us, and he wants to take on Zillow all the way around and yeah. be a rival to Zillow. And so he's, you know, coming out. So that was the big thing is, you know, you know Zillow is the... Uh, uh, the the one-time gorilla. Yeah, and what Zillow is interested, what it does is it, it is is having a, um, uh, you would, they put different realtors on Faces your listings. Yeah, which on is, other realtors' listings. Because they pay them so that they, they cover your listing up with other, which is very shady business. Right. You, and, you but me. you know what, though? Um, I, I When people come on my blogs and stuff, they say that I've been looking at Zillow for all the real estate stuff in Hawaii, right? Yeah. So they know Zillow is kind of like an open portal. Um, but there's some, what we call insidious experiences behind that. But it's really the consumers are like this. Just show us the properties, right? Right. So homes.com. You might want to check them out. They are kind of like the um, the new kid on the block, but the company name Homes.com has been around for a long time. But they got enough power. They 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 billions. That was, okay, let me back up. The other thing that is happening right now is that there is a, a lot of money being into, coming into the market. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, more than ever before, and so you're going to start seeing these these companies come up, and this is where you know they're going to be able to compete on a Goliath level. So that's that, but that yeah. doesn't affect us terribly much here in Hawaii. And right. The, but the other one does, the, the bridge loans. Why don't we talk a little bit okay, about so the bridge loans. and bridge loans. Yeah, so um, talking about money pouring into the market, uh -huh. um, there's a variety of different companies. One of the ones we met was called Knock, mm -hmm. and uh, we asked them, hey, we could use you in Hawaii. And they're like, oh, we're not there yet. But on the mainland, um, what they're basically doing is they're providing an opportunity for you to basically buy a house, let's say here in Hawaii, um, by securing... Basically, it's almost like a home insurance program. So they'll basically insure you on this bridge loan that you'll sell your house for the amount of money. And well, and so you can also buy a give, house They'll here also in give you the money up front, right? I mean, yeah. They're, they're, so basically, it's kind of like a... They'll, they'll, so it, their whole concept is... If you want to buy a house before you sell yours, and it's cash, they will help cash. you. With cash, that's the idea. Yeah, cash. So you, you can compete in the cash market. Right. You right? come up and you say, I've got, you know, let's say your house was worth, you know, $800,000 back in the mainland. They say, all right, we, you know, we know that we can sell your house. We will guarantee to give you a bridge loan. If it doesn't sell, we'll buy it. Uh, and then they give you whatever the you know seven ninety, but there are fees that go with this, and yeah. that's the downfall about yeah. that. Yeah, but well, you, I mean, you it's, 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 it's a great service. Yeah, right. So if, there's a lot of people who now because the market's so hot all across the country that most people are scared to sell their homes before they buy a home. Yeah. So it basically hedges the bet that you will get a home before you actually And most yeah, and most people won't move because it's too scary. And right. this kind of takes the, the, the scariness out of it. Right. It's kind of a guarantee that you're going to be able to sell your house. Yeah. Right? So I, I, we thought that that was a pretty yeah. good business concept. Yeah, and so, there's quite a few companies out there doing it. So that was one of the definitely yeah. interesting ones. So, um, and, and I'm telling you guys, money, 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 money is coming into the market to help people do this. So yeah. Yeah. And The last one was, was really interesting too. Okay, and that one was the, um, oh, they're trying to streamline the entire real estate transaction process. So for the first time, they're saying it's clunky, it's slow, and it's painful. Yeah, this isn't the first time. All right. <laughs> this has been going on for 25 years. I've been part of this conference series. Okay, well, new Real familiar. estate transactions are clunkily slow and have a lot of moving pieces in them. Yeah. How many moving pieces so does realtors? <laughs> we learned both of this. It was kind of funny. 152 moving parts that have to be dealt with to have a transaction go through. That's a lot of parts. Yeah. So, so your realtors, again, are doing 152 different tasks for you guys when you buy a house. Right. And, you know, whether it be, you know, cleaning the house and making sure that somebody gets in well, there. Well, and also dealing with escrow yeah, and, uh, and you know, inspections and title, and, and, title yeah, and all yeah. this stuff that goes with it. Yeah, so, so lots and lots. Um, so with the idea is that there are these companies that are coming in and they're saying, what we're going to do is we're going to combine, we're going to have an escrow company, we're going to have a mortgage company, and we're going to have a real estate company. All in all one. All in one. And so one because roof. we can talk to them easily, it should go more smoothly. Right. And uh, when we talk about the millions and billions coming into the real estate industry, having companies own their own real estate arm, escrow and mortgage is huge yeah um and they're trying to also throw a whole bunch of technology into that to make it all digitally well, and, correct so and that you guys can make part, it happen part of the, faster part of what this money is going into is digitizing everything because part of it is you have to go back into the county records and go find this thing and it right. takes forever and, it, right. they, it and they've been working on a digitizing um escrow so um, everything will title, be digital. title reports basically deeds on title yeah. so that way um, it wasn't because a long time ago, uh, you would run into a drawer and you would <laughs> ripple through the drawer and the file and pull out the file and say, here you are. So they digitized that. And so they're trying to create this one experience where um, as soon as you go in there, they basically have access to all this information. Your financial and again, it's all right there. Boom. You yeah, know what I mean? And, and it would speed it up by, by leaps and bounds. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but again, um, boutique 
uh, brokerages like yeah. us well. <laughs> wouldn't have them. that power. But on the other side, um, if it works for the consumer, there's always a way it's going to work for the realtors that are dealing with real estate. So um, just want you guys to know that, and again, here we go again, Hawaii is not the most technically savvy experience. So, um, <laughs> you know, there we are. So we might not see something like that here in Hawaii and, and our specific real estate companies offering that. But if you can get out of your house on the mainland, that might make yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. They, they, it applies still definitely there. Yeah, but you know what, things, just things move slowly to come to Hawaii. Eventually, if we're sitting, if you guys are watching this, you know, five years from now, maybe so, 10. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we might, might have something 15, like that here, know. so yeah. But it's all good. So the, we what we wanted to just give you a little snippet of all the great things we learned during that week um, yeah. of what's coming out there. Uh, you know, it, it's it's kind of one of those, I guess, one of those informational TV shows that you there find you out. Know. Uh, but you know what, though, um, I don't think that a lot of uh, Hawaii realtors get a chance to travel all the way to Las Vegas to do this for the week. Oh, no, definitely. Not. So um, so we we plan on doing this every year, right? Yeah. And uh, being able to at least stay on top of what's happening in technology and uh, digital marketing and uh, what's happening happening so you guys can know that um we know it's coming down the line so with that we'll say aloha, aloha.